Hi, I'm NASA Kennedy's Joshua Santora for NASA Public Affairs, and I'm outside KSC taking you inside KSC. The rocket that will launch NASA's SpaceX Crew-1 mission to the International Space Station has arrived in Florida. This will be the first operational mission for the agency's commercial crew program following certification of SpaceX's crew transportation system. The company successfully flew NASA astronauts Robert Behnken and Douglas Hurley to the orbiting laboratory in May as part of their Demo-2 test flight. But the transportation system won't be fully certified until Behnken and Hurley have safely returned to Earth. NASA and SpaceX are working toward a date for the astronauts' return. For Crew-1, the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket topped with the company's Crew Dragon spacecraft will lift off from the Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A, delivering a crew of four to the International Space Station for a full-duration mission. Inside Crew Dragon will be NASA astronauts Victor Glover, Michael Hopkins, and Shannon Walker, and Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Soichi Noguchi. Arriving from McGregor, Texas, the rocket will now undergo pre-launch processing inside a SpaceX facility on Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. This month marks the 45th anniversary of NASA's Apollo-Soyuz test project. The project was the first and only time that spacecraft from two different countries achieved rendezvous, docking, and undocking in space. On July 15, 1975, the Soviet Union's Soyuz 19 spacecraft and rocket launched into space. Launching that same day from Kennedy's Launch Complex 39B was the Apollo 18 capsule carried atop a Saturn 1B rocket. Two days later, Apollo docked with Soyuz. The two spacecraft remained docked for 44 hours, marking the successful testing of a universal docking system and paving the way for future joint experiments. This mission would be the last time U.S. astronauts would journey to space until the first launch of the agency's space shuttle program in 1981. American astronauts and Russian cosmonauts wouldn't fly together again until 1994, three years after the fall of the Soviet Union. For more Inside KSC, check us out on social media and at nasa.gov slash Kennedy.